Hello guys. Happy, uh, happy what? I don't even know what to say anymore. Hi guys, it's Shani. We're doing another get ready with me, but it's an updated get ready with me Q and A. We're gonna be talking about a lot of fun things today. We're gonna be talking about Disney, Mirabel, and I'm gonna show you guys my recent makeup routine. I'm drinking an iced matcha because it is currently, it's 98 degrees, but usually it's like 100, 104 degrees. Let's stop dilly-dallying. But first, we have a sponsor for today's video. This is very exciting. I usually don't get sponsors for YouTube videos, so I'm really excited. Today's sponsor is BetterHelp. Lately, I have been struggling with my mental health, like for real, for real. I've been trying to achieve my goals of like my small business, acting, content creation, but I also have to prioritize being a wife, going to church, but I always get like this weird anxiety, like I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I don't know. I always get this weird feeling for my future. I don't know. Comment down below if you get weird anxiety attacks like that. Since I'm constantly always so busy, I found a new way to get some help, which is BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp can give you tools to approach your life in a new and healthy way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is really important to me at least because finding a therapist is so hard. I've been in my therapy journey also, and it's just, it's a long journey, not gonna lie. It's hard, especially when you're limited to the options in your area, right? Before I left Disney, I was working full-time hours and trying to be a content creator and looking for a therapist at the same time. But who has time to take care of your mental health when you're spread so thin? BetterHelp is a platform that makes it easier to find a therapist because it's on your own time. It's online and it's on remote. And by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can help you find a professional therapist in just a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched. Here's a link and I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. Look at my brows, guys. It's looking good. Clicking that link helps support this channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. There is a real power in talking to someone, and getting your thoughts out of your head makes a big difference. Let me know if you enjoy it, and thank you, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. Now let's get back to the video. We have lots of cheese to talk about. Okay, first things first, everybody's been wanting to know all the tea about Disney. And I'll just let you guys know right now. I'm pulling up the questions. Okay, so I started working at Disney last year around October. So around eight-ish months. I'm not good with math. Uh, the math isn't mathing. But um, yeah, so it was around eight months. And I finished like June 17th. For no specific reason, it's just... It's just like, I don't want to like say where I live, but you know, when you live somewhere that's not very close, like your dream job can be really challenging, especially if you want to be there for the longest time. Um, I had to see what was worth it, you know, and my car getting messed up, me not spending a lot of time with my husband, me not being able to go to church. That just wasn't, don't get me wrong. If the opportunity ever presents itself to live closer, and to work there again, I'm taking it for sure. Because Disney, even though like there were some bumps in the road, like not gonna lie, at some points, the bad outweighed the good. I still really enjoyed it there because the people that you meet are so different. They are so nice. Like they genuinely wanna see you do good. I made a lot of good friends there. And one time my sister and I went out to eat with two of them. And my sister's like, please, like, don't lose them as friends. They're probably, like, one of the best people you've ever, like, made friends with. And I was like, thank you. Like, that actually makes me happy. I mean, happy, but, like, kind of, like, confused. Like, what? What are you talking about? Like, my friends. Because they are really great. Like, you do meet a lot of great people working there. Especially when they all have, like, the same aspirations as you. I wear two foundations because one is really dark. And then the other one's really light. And at the time, like, I was either super light or super dark. And now I just mix them. I know that's probably not ideal, but that's just what I do. I met a lot of great people, and I definitely want to go back. Um, but I'm going to answer some of your questions that some of you have asked me. So let's just get into it. What has been your favorite interaction with a guest? That is so hard. Again, 
there's been times where the bad outweighed the good, but I can pick out a couple good interactions that aren't like cast members because cast members always give you a great interaction because they're giving you stuff or they're cast members and family members because my husband one time was like, Maribel, you don't have a gift, so I got you a gift and he gave me an ice cream. So like that doesn't count, but like this one time there was a lady with her daughter. The daughter was around like five, six. Um, the little girl was dressed up as Mary Poppins. I think it's crazy. Like I'm not expecting gifts. I'm not expecting any of that stuff. Characters shouldn't expect any of that stuff. She sits down on the floor. And I sit down on the floor too with her. The cool thing with Mirabelle is that you could play around with her. She's not a princess. She doesn't have to be like. And then um, she just started asking me questions and talking about my outfit, Mirabelle's outfit. Let's talk about Mirabelle as if like she's a another person out of respect for the character and for the company. Um, she was like, Mirabelle, I really like your shoes. And I was like, no, I like your shoes. Um, and then I'm like, do you think we can ever trade one day? And she's like, no, your feet are too big. And I was like, are you serious? I was like, did you say my feet are too big? And then I was like, you know what? You're, you're just as mean as Camilo, but it's okay. And stuff like that. That's what Maribel said. And then, um, I was like, okay, let's take our photo. We took our photo and then she left. She was like one of my last guests. And then um, later, as I'm walk as Mirabel, this is so hard. Later, as Mirabel's walking out, um, I see her. She sees her again, and the mom and the little girl are like Mirabel, here's a photo. And then they give me a Polaroid photo of me and the little girl, and it's just us like. And it's the sweetest thing ever. And I know it's like silly. It's not like an extravagant thing, but that always stands out to me because it was so. Like the little girl is leading the conversations. I like when the kids lead the conversations. I think like. If they're asking you what they want to ask you, I think that's awesome. Like, I don't have to tell you something about Tia Peppa or Julieta. Like, no, you are going to tell me something. And I love that, you know, or you are going to ask me to tell you something. A lot of people ask me, like, where did you get the costume from? Hate to break it to you. It's not mine. It's Mirabelle's. It belongs to Mirabelle. When I left, she keeps it. Sad but true. Um, nope. They do not use my real hair. All of this big blob, this whole bob goes in a wig cap and inside a wig. People were asking me questions as Mirabeau when I like submitted this. So they asked me, who's your favorite sibling? And as Mirabeau would say, it depends the day. But today it would probably be Isabella because we, the other day she made beautiful flowers and I turned them into flower crowns and we danced all over the Encanto with our little flower crowns. We're gonna put some bronzer on now. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately but I think that's just because like I'm lazy and it's hot as cheese outside um, and I didn't want to wear makeup to my ballet class because I'm taking ballet but I think I'm going to because the base looks really good and I'm breaking out a lot and I think it's because I'm getting my period. By the way, Star Girl Beauty blushes. Seashell blushes. Is this the color underwater? Under the water. Under under the sea, guys. And it's so cute. I love these blushes. I love the colors. My favorite is Sirena, but my mom took that color from me. So we're going to stick to my second favorite, which is this one. But please. And if you really like it, DM me a discount if you want a discount code, and I'll give it to you. I give you my private discount code. Uh, someone asked me, will this Mirabelle still be working at Disney? Um, this Mirabelle, no. But there will be plenty other Mirabelles that are just as great and have became some of my closest friends. Will I be friends with another character? No, I've always dreamed of wanting to be another character. I can't think of anyone else that fits me really. Comment down below if you could be a character and what character would you be? But I tell everybody this, they're always asking me like, do you have another character? And I'm like, no, the character I've always wanted I got, so there's nothing else that I want. And I'm not trying to like rub it in. That's just me like excited and like happy, like I got what I wanted. My family went to go see me a couple of times and it was so funny. 
my mom and my dad both cried. My sister was probably the one that went to see me the most because she worked there as well. There would be times where like I walk by where she is and she would see me and I would just be like, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, my husband saw me a couple of times as Mirabel. Um, my cousins, Chloe and Emily, um, people asked me, how did you get to play Mirabel? And it's very easy. It's, I mean, maybe it was, you know, thank God, like it was easy for me, but it's like an audition process. You audition, you say a couple of lines, you either get it or you don't, and then you do training. And then the training is like a month and then you do your put in day and that day, um, play the character and then your trainer, see if you're ready to play character and then you're on and popping when did I have the epiphany to become Mirabel my sister always told me you would be a great Mirabel you need to do it and I was like uh Nisha bro like I'm not trying to do that drive bro like but I really want to be an actress I really want to be like some type of like production type I was like you know what I'm gonna audition and they had audition openings in the summer and then I had to wait like a whole month to see if I even got an audition and then I did, and then I had to wait a whole month again to see if, to get my audition day. And then I got my audition day, I had to wait a whole month to see if I got it. So it, that was the whole thing. But my sister was the one that put it in my head. And my husband was very supportive about it also. Can we hear Maribel's voice? I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to embarrass myself on the internet like that. I'll tell you how I would get it. I would be like a very nasally, I would watch the movie a lot, and then I would try to recreate her voice that was one thing i would get complimented a lot people would be like you sound just like her and i well i think we are done with the makeup we're just gonna add some highlighter hello highlighter somebody asked me if there's any struggles in being a character i'm very fortunate and i'm very blessed to be able to go in a department that had really great people in it but i have heard of like some horror stories I'm very lucky and very fortunate that I did not have to experience anything like that. I had a great group of people around me. I am so sorry if the quality has changed on the video. It's because I got a new camera and that mess is so annoying. It's always like dying or always like no room. And so I'm like, bro, there's room on this camera. Like I use other cameras with the same SIM card. So um, I changed the camera. Sorry if the quality has changed, but... um. Um, we're gonna continue on with this because I have to do my hair for ballet guys. What is this? Was there ever a child that just didn't want to leave your side? And if so, how did you do? That happens a lot, but not just to me to other characters too And I think we just try because There's a reason they want to stay next to you because they recognize you and you mean something to them We as characters we're not gonna like Like be like, okay, adios like but if they're sweet like this one time there was this little girl that held me and she started crying. I'm like, I was like, did not expect that at all. I'm like, um, and you give those people, you give those kids extra attention because they, since you mean something to them, they recognize you. You have to give them extra attention because like, bro, like you have to, you know, like that's just even like in your heart, like you feel like you have to, you know, you give everybody a good, good attention and good interactions but when it's those kids that like want to be with you 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 show that you want to be with them there's kids that ask like a bunch of questions and then the parents like okay we have to go Mirabel has to go home or Mirabel has to meet other people and then like I'm like it's okay and then we just finish our conversation because it's like you waited so long like might as well like take your time you know I think that's all the questions but if you have any questions about my makeup I'm gonna link it all down below and if you have any other questions that you want to ask me, comment down below also. But this is pretty much it for my makeup. And then I have to get ready for ballet. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And I hope you all have an amazing, blessed day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!